This is the beginning of part 2 of the video about the dynamic forms module from Data Springs. Okay, now I want to add another question to the, to the form. And it's a question that says, uh, how did you hear about us? And I want to give a, uh, a drop down of, uh, of options. So let's just go to dynamic question under manage questions. New dynamic field. So the question is, how did you hear about us? Short name. Suggests one just based on, on what I have entered in the question. Any any type, any help text that you may want to enter with further explanations. Sort order it comes automatically as twenty. Uh, you may recall that the previous question was fifteen. So if you want to again move around this uh, the order, you can reorder here by setting the order the sort order. So I will keep it as twenty. Now question type this is a combo box, and here. Down here, because we have selected combo box, it will allow us to add the options that we want uh, in that combo. So let's let's put a couple of options here. Uh, Google search will be one. Let's click plus. Let's put newspaper. Move to the button. Let's put banner ads. And let's put friend as well. So let's just put those four different options. Okay, then by selecting uh, uh, the option, you can see uh, options to update that particular option that is selected. Update option text and update option value. Again, you can you can uh, select, you, you can put, let's say, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, those options, or you can leave as a default text, the same text as the text that show up, shows up. You can also reorder the options here on the uh, right side. You can also delete them, save, move them around. Uh, and interesting, I have never seen this, allow users the ability to add items. So I guess that you can also allow users to add more items here. But let's not do that. OK, so we have this new field. Let's save it. Uh, just by clicking update fields. Now here's everything that I want to do. If the person says that uh, they uh, heard about us via newspaper, I want that a new drop down shows up that shows the different newspapers that I do advertise. So again, so what we'll be doing is we'll be creating new fields that will only be visible if the newspaper option was the one selected. So let's try to do that. New dynamic field. I'm going to call it uh, newspaper. Short name newspaper. Um, that's I'm not I'm, good, I'm not going to care too much about those other options. This will also be a combo box. And the options I will go local for that. So I'm going to go with Toronto Star and the Sun. Okay, so two options there, and I'm just gonna save this update field. Okay, so the field is, is created now. Here's what I'm gonna have to do now. I have to go to the newspaper and set it up in a way that it will only show up if uh, the newspaper option from here about us is selected. So only if newspaper option is selected. So let's go back to newspaper and let's see how can we do that. Okay, so I have selected newspaper question, which is the one that will be hidden. Now we have to say that this is a hidden uh, question. And we have to go to advanced field options and select the option that says, see, Hide until forced visible by question event. So this is exactly the guy that we want. Let's save this field. And now let's go to another area of the mode that is called the question events. So let's click there, question events, and create a new question event. I'm going to call this as news paper. And it's not disabled. And the the uh, the goal for this event is to display hidden question based on another question response. This is exactly what we need. 
the initial postback question is how did you hear about us? Execute an uh, event for any response? No. It's only if the response is newspaper. And the question that is affected uh, will be newspaper. So again, we are creating a, a, a question event that is supposed to display a hidden question uh, whenever newspaper option is selected and it will show the question called newspaper. <clears throat> now, I will update this question event and I think it's a good time to, to try this module. Let's have a look. So let's log out. Okay, so here we have our simple form asking for first name, last name, mail address, question, uh, and how did you hear about us? Now, what I really want to test here is how did you hear about us? Uh, the default one, which is the first one, is selected is Google Search. If I click newspaper, great, newspaper drop down shows up. If I click any other option, it disappears. See, it just works great. That's exactly what we wanted to do. Perfect. So now we have our form. Uh, working uh, roughly there. We still need uh, to create some events to move to the thank you page once this data is submitted and to send email notifications. So let's log in back again. So here we're going to go to the admin and it's where it says um, a form completion event. So let's create, let's create the events that will be triggered after the form is submitted. For instance, the email notification to the user that is filling out the form as, let's say, thank you for submitting your information and to the administrator of the site that needs to see uh, that new question, that new contact. So let's go to form complete completion events. So we're going to select a new event. I'm going to call it uh, email user, which is the email that will be sent to the user. Event sort order, you can say which event comes first. Event type, there are a couple of different types and the ones that we will be focusing this uh, video is really URL redirection and dynamic email. But you can also, after submitting a form, you can also even create, uh, uh, even uh, add a user to a certain role. Again, lots of uh, interesting options here, but let's focus on the one that uh, I was uh, talking about, email. Now, here is the event name, email, dynamic question. Uh, basically, you can say that this event will only be triggered if certain information is, is filled out uh, if, based on certain values. This is not the case here. I want the email to be sent uh, regardless of which uh, answer was, uh, wh which information was filled out in the form. So any field response. Oops, I just forgot that this is an uh, email, so I have to select dynamic email. Dynamic form and response. User response, I will ignore this. And here's the, the most important part, is where we're going to uh, specify uh, the email details. Now, uh, bear in mind that you need to have the SMTP settings of your site, which I have covered in another... I think I have covered, I'm not sure. But anyway, you have to make sure that you have the SMTP settings under under host, host settings. You have to make sure that those settings are correctly uh, set because otherwise you will not receive any emails. This will be using the default uh, SMTP configuration from uh, the host level, from, from host, uh, host settings. Now let's go back here. So this is an email that goes to the user. So from email address, it can be the email address of the admin of the site. Um, just for the sake of example here, I'm, I'm saying that uh, this uh, email will go from my email address to uh, email oh, from email name, so from Ederson or site admin. This is the end of the second part of the video about the dynamic forms module from DataSprings. There is one more part to this video.